Children, welcome in the name of Jesus. Children, welcome in the name of love. All are welcome in the name of Jesus. All are welcome in the name of love. Welcome to Children in Worship on this beautiful day and we come together in this time and this place to worship God, to talk to God and to listen to God and to hear the stories of God. And so one way we like to get ready to be together is to greet one another and we do that with our sign language. So I will say to you, may the Lord be with you and you will say back to me, and also with you. So let's do that together. May the Lord be with you and, and also with you. Very good. And another way we like to get ready uh, is to talk to God and we do that through singing. We sing our, all of our favorite songs and we're not going to do that today so you can pause and sing your favorite songs with with your family and friends if you're watching together. Um, we're going to sing Be Still and Know and that's one way that we can make our bodies still and quiet so that we can get ready to hear the story together. I like to close my eyes and take a deep breath. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know is a parable. This box is gold and parables are precious like gold. It kind of looks like a present. Parables are like presents because they've already been given to us and nobody can steal them or buy them or take them away. They're ours forever. There's another reason that this might be a parable. It has a lid on it. And parables seem to have lids on them. They can be hard to understand. But when you open the lid of a parable, there's something very precious inside. I know. Let's open the lid and see what we can find and see if this is a parable. white thing. I wonder what this could be. Kind of looks like a giant snowball. So white and so round. And there's these. I wonder what that could be. It has an inside and an outside. I 
And there's another one. They look kind of the same, but a little bit different. what that could be. There's some other things in here. many things. Hmm. Pearls. Once there was a man who said such amazing things and did such wonderful things that people began to follow him. And as they followed him, he told them all about a special place called the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God. But the people did not understand. They had never heard of such a place. They had never been to such a place. They did not even know where it was. So one day they just simply had to ask, what is the kingdom of heaven like? And he said, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant, someone who buys and sells pearls. And he goes out in search of the greatest pearl.
when he finds the greatest pearl. He goes and exchanges all that he has. Everything he owns He exchanges it and sells everything he has, everything he owns to the seller in exchange for the most valuable pearl. I wonder what could be so precious and so valuable that somebody would give everything they had just to have it? I wonder if the merchant is happy now where he is. And without all of his things, I wonder who the seller is, who this person might really be. And if the seller is happy about the exchange. I wonder if you have ever been close to the seller or to this table. Where this whole place might really be. Now we're going to pick up all the pieces and put the story away so that you will be able to use it when we can be together again. We have all the pearls. Pearls and the most valuable pearl. We have all of these things. That's a lot of 
stuff. And the seller and the merchant. And all of the dwelling places, the houses. In this way, you can tell the story one day. We'll put the lid back on it. <clears throat> and if we didn't understand, or if we didn't get it, it's okay, because every time we come back to a parable, we learn something new, and one day, it will open up for us. Now the story that we heard today, the story of the great pearl, is actually in the Bible. And I've highlighted it in here for us so that we can read it together. And you can find it on your own when you come back to Children of Worship. And we like to light the Christ candle when we read the words out of the Bible. It reminds us that God's always with us, but especially when we read God's Word together. And this is what it says in Matthew chapter 13. Also, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant who is searching for fine pearls. And when he found a valuable pearl, he went away and he sold everything he had, and he bought it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now we like to pray together so that you might have special prayers that you are holding in your heart. And I encourage you to, to talk to God about those in your own special way. And I'm going to say a short prayer, and you can repeat after me. So we'll close your eyes. Dear God, Dear God, Thank you for loving us so much. Thank you for loving us so much. And thank you for the stories. And thank you for the stories. And help us to learn how we can love you. And help us to learn how we can love you. And learn to love others. And learn to love others. Amen. Amen. Now the light that is in one time and one place, we're going to change that light so that it can be in all times and all places. And God's love can be with us wherever we go. Go now in peace. Go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere.